Welcome to Technology episode 14. That's right, baby. And today uh, we have taken the uh, pleasure of booking the entire restaurant. As you can see, it's empty. Yes. Yep. Drink, please. Mm. Mm. Uh, ah, refreshing. You can't see it. It's mm. legendary. So this week we have something for you. Mm. Uh, a gadget that has an that has an S behind it. An S behind it. That's mm -hmm. nice. Uh, how about this? The 120 ringgit Android tablet. Some of you might have wow, heard of it cheap. before. Some people say it's cheap. Some people say it's not real. But it's real, and we've got the lowdown, baby. Check it. Now, have you ever lost your Facebook password? Never. Never. Mm, but I, uh, your friend Nadia, your friend Nadia has right. She's been yeah. locked out of uh, Facebook for a while. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now uh, they've implemented a new system that helps you recover your password. Oh, fantastic. Yeah, so it's called Trusted Friends. How does so, it work? Uh, basically, you tell Facebook mm -hmm. uh, three to five friends that you trust. Okay. And then uh, they, so whenever you lost your password, mm. Facebook lose, will, lose. Oh, I mean, lose. whenever you lose your password, <laughs> sorry. Sorry, I guess. Yeah. Uh, whenever you lose your password, yeah. Facebook will send the key to those friends. Okay. So those friends can come to you now. This is your key, go log in. All right, so yeah. they use your friends to authenticate you. Correct. What if I am the hacker to your account, mm -hmm. or if I want to hack your account, mm -hmm. and I get three of your friends to hack on your behalf, on my behalf, then what? Your friends gonna be trusted. Lah. Then you tell Facebook that, oh, okay, not lah. Right. How ah? Uh? Yeah, exactly. So you pick your friends properly. Make sure okay. it's like your dad, your mom, your, your dad, sister. your mom, your sister, brother, uncle, yeah. auntie lah. Right. Okay. Story yeah. is, just let me turn on my Samsung Galaxy Tab. Ooh, Are you so slow to turn on? Hey, very fast, okay? Now, how about this? Um, this is the um, MacBook Air mm -hmm. that is a complete ripoff. When you look at it, you go like, wow, wow. this is the MacBook Air. Yeah. But how much does it cost? 471 US dollars. That's about 1,200 ringgit. Yeah. Okay, why? Uh, and then you start looking at the specs. Now, it's thicker, mm -hmm. but it's got this whole aluminium casing on it. Uh, it's got three and a half bad hours battery life, which isn't too bad. Has a 1.86 gigahertz Intel Atom 2 800 CPU. Wait, 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 this is from China, is it? Very from China. Oh. It's from this this uh, restaurant. Uh, oh, no, not restaurant. <laughs> <laughs> it's from this manufacturer called Shenzhen Technology Limited. Shenzhen Technology Limited. Yes, wow. anything from China is amazingly amazing. Correct. Yeah, so uh, check it out. Mm -hmm. uh, Apple's lawyers will be quite upset at this because it looks really, really similar to the MacBook Air. Our oh, MacBook Air. Yeah, the real one. Yeah. Okay, okay. thanks. Mm. Uh, refreshing. Now, mm. last week, uh, Nokia launched two Windows phones. Mm. Uh, it's their first Windows phones, the Lumia 800 and Lumia 710. Yeah, I, I got really excited when I heard about it. I said, yeah. wow, it's finally So basically, out. The, the 800 uses the N9 body. It looks exactly the same mm. with a different OS. Mm -hmm. And uh, 710 is actually a cheaper version of it. Uh, you don't get autofocus as usual, right? Because it's cheap. It's right. about two seventy euros. Wow! But it has interchangeable covers. Like you know, Nokia phones, you gotta change cover to red, green, blue, black, and cool. all your colors. Yeah. But um, I'm really looking forward for the 800 mm. because, according to Stephen Elop, the CEO, right. this is the real Windows phone, not the all, not 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 all the other Windows phones. How other can brands. he say things like that? Yeah. Uh, just because you're collaborating with Microsoft doesn't mean you own Microsoft. Microsoft's OS is on your phone. Just be proud yeah, of that. Microsoft, OS. Yeah, mm. yeah, HP. HP's OS. A lot of yeah. money to buy this thing over from Palm, from right? Palm, yes. So uh, then the CEO, uh, then CEO, mm. Mr. Apotheker, Apotheker got really upset and said, Ah, screw this. I don't want the PC business. So he got rid of the PC business. Right. And, and he said, oh, right? Yeah, because yeah. apparently mm -hmm. uh, people got so upset and the following month he was fired. So now they've got a new CEO, and the name of the CEO is a Meg Whitman. So this Meg Whitman, immediately Wait, after coming back in... Is this guy, is it a guy or girl? I don't know. It's Meg. Says Meg. Could be, a girl, girl, could be a girl. Could be a guy. But I don't care. It doesn't matter. As long as you can do your job, right? So uh, this Meg person mm -hmm. finally said, no, we want the PC division to come back in. And everybody rejoice. So now HP's got that, and they say as to the faith of um, WebOS, they don't know. They paid about 1.2 billion for the operating system. Uh, they I would have wasted if I'm HP. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a very nice OS actually. But they say that they might be working on Windows 8 oh, tablet. Oh my what? god! What happened? 
we have teleported. Wow! Yay! A nice nice view. Space better. Nice, nice, nice. Got, got fresh air from the north wind south of the northern wind. And then we got sunlight deep within the clouds. Yes, yes, that's why it's so dark. Yeah. Okay. Okay, next. Get to it. What's yours? Hmm. Uh, since we are on the topic of Nokia's new phones, hmm. uh, they've also shown an Xbox companion app oh, what's that, that lets you control your Xbox from your phone. Wow. Yeah, so you know your Xbox can watch can watch movies, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So you can use the app to play, rewind, stop, and that's not all, you know. Let's say you are watching Spider-Man, mm. and then you can switch the Bing tab, and then you can and then you can search uh, stuff about the movie, wow. and then it tells you who's in the movie. Uh, what's the story about? Blah blah blah. So it's like a synopsis and stuff synopsis like that. Synopsis plus the remote control. You know, the in fact, Xbox is something to look out for because mm. I heard that they're gonna be implementing this new, um, not new thing. It's that you know the the one that tracks your movement. What's that thing uh, called? Connect. Connect. Yeah. yeah. They're gonna hook that up. Uh, with the TV and they're going to try to do some integration where once you wave your hand it changes channel yep. you push upwards it increases the volume yep. amazing amazing can't wait for that it's yes. an Android tablet 35 US dollars as you can Which see is about 120 right ringgit yeah it's really really cheap and people say it's not possible mm -hmm. so it's started up by the finance ministry or minister uh, of India and they say 35 US dollars no way la. Oh, strong. very strong yes Camera okay? Okay. So uh, yeah, we got a cameraman now. We actually got more budget now. You can uh. Okay, okay, okay. Alright. So um 35 US dollars and uh, it's called India's Akash Android tablet. <laughs> why why So this is you? made in China, lah. Hey. No. Hello, me in India. La. Oh, India. La. Yes, okay, okay, hey, don't insult, okay? Hello, <laughs> everybody. Very nice. Everybody grab your own okay. Android tablet. So it's 2.2 for you. Um, but they say it's a little bit slow. So this guy, uh, we're reading this from this venture. What a beat. tablet running on Froyo. Yeah. So it's a little bit weak. You know, it's not running even on honeycomb yeah. or even gingerbread. Yeah. Uh, it's got a 366 megahertz processor, so it's extremely, extremely slow. Extremely slow. But they say this is a budget thing. At the end of the day, they just want all the students in India to have one. So if you buy one, right, mm -hmm. they expect you to say type document with it. It's got two USB ports, which is very nice. Wow. So you can plug in your USB drive, thumb drive, and you, the other one is like USB. So your, your tab got how many USB, USB ports? My tab, who is Joe? It's got an amazing one. This is called a unified port. Everything <laughs> it's hooked up. Hey. <laughs> I love you, Samsung. Uh, and then you've got uh, what else? This ebook reader. So they said as a reader, it's fine as well. But surfing the net is incredibly slow. So if of course, you want, like three, three, six megahertz, right? Yeah. If you want it, I don't know. We've got the video uh, just to show you how it looks like. Mm. Go check it out. So gadget review this time around, we've got we've got the Sony Ericsson Xperia Arc with an S at the back. Oh, yo, I tell you, it's one sexy beast. Mm -hmm. Its ass is just Let's beautiful. check out the S now. Okay, so the gadget we have this week is the Sony Ericsson Xperia Arc S. Yep. So it's basically it's basically a Sony Ericsson Xperia Arc. Mm -hmm. uh, the with letter an S. with an S. Uh, that also symbolizes a better processor, mm -hmm. so it runs on a 1.4 gigahertz processor now, and uh, it's still as thin, 8.7 millimeter thin at the thinnest point. Right. And uh, it, it has white casing now, and also uh, pink. Okay, so uh, now to differentiate between Arcas, it's just pink and white, lah. So it's just pink and white. A pink and white, additional apart from the usual black, gray, and blue. Right. Yep. So, um, apart from 1.4 GHz processor, it also has uh, the ability to take 3D panorama photos. Oh cool, let's see yeah. that. So, uh, when, I, when I press on the camera button, mm -hmm. it will activate the camera. Mm -hmm. And in here, you can actually switch on the 3D panorama mode by tapping on... Oops, oh, I just tapped on the screen. Ooh. Okay, one more. So, tap on scene modes, you can see here 3D sweep panorama. So now it will switch to the 3D mode and uh, in order to take a 3D picture we just need to sweep from left to right just like what uh, the Cybershot does. Right. Yeah. So let's try. So I will take a picture now. I will press capture and I will sweep across now. Okay. Now it's processing. And uh, here's the preview. So basically, we can't see 3D on this screen. Right. Yeah, but it will only appear when you plug it to a 3D compatible TV. But of course, you can view the panorama here on the screen. Lah. Nice. Yep. Now, apart from that, 
The new Gingerbread 2.3.4 on the Arc S allows you to take screenshots. Yay, finally! Yeah, unlike uh, previous versions. Now, in order to take a screenshot, you just need to press and hold on the off button and you will get the option to do a screenshot. So there, take screenshot, tap on it and it will take a screenshot of whatever's on the screen. Brilliant. And that's it. Marvellous. Yes. So for apps this time around, I know you guys keep saying that I'm an Android person. I yeah. keep reviewing Android yeah. apps. So this Android, time, Android, Android. I'm going to review two apps. Okay, Android one. Android, right? No, 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 no. They are both universal apps. Works on Apple, works on Android. Okay. And Mango? Uh, Mango, no, unfortunately. Okay. Yeah. One will make you rich. Mm -hmm. The other one will give you a sense of happiness. Wow, a sense, huh? Yeah. Check okay, it so this is the first app I'm going to review. It's called Fire PX. Works on both Android as well as iPhones, uh, iPads as well. Now, Fire PX is a free service. You go to firepx.com, you subscribe or get a new account, and you get to upload unlimited photos. They only limit you in terms of albums, a bit like Flickr, uh, but Flickr has a limit in terms of how many photos you can upload. But this one, it's free, uh, and they got a premium account, something like 50 this US show dollars. This show, huh? the What's, interface, I want yeah, to see. Coming, like, 50 US dollars, are basically, uh, you get a premium account, you know, and then you have a lot the of one, albums. I free one. All right, check. It. So Fire PX, uh, they got tons of uh, other photographers in there as well. Uh, as you can see, some pictures are really, really quite gorgeous. I wow. personally use it to um, to load up my personal wallpapers, which I use for my phones and my tablet devices. So yeah, you can push them around and wow, them nice. Yeah, it also tells you like you know you can write messages, you can like and dislike, you can share it. Tells you what was the aperture taken and stuff oh, like that. Oh, I'm very well. interested in this so, app. This is very cool. Um, and what I really like is because you're on Android, this only uh, exclusively on Android, you can do this. Tap and hold, go into widgets. They got a widget for it as well. Just look for the 500px widget. Okay. So once you hit that, it loads up, and this is where it will load. So depending on the internet connection, it shows you some of the latest pictures that are currently on. So on the iPad, of course. Oh, whoa! Whoa! Hello. What picture do you Very see just sexy, now, mate. Ben? Whoa, naughty, Lois. naughty so... boy. Okay, cannot see. This is this is what they call artistic. Okay, so you go popular, huh? Naughty boy, yeah. All these beautiful pictures. There you go. It's got a very nice interface as well. But of course, this 500 app is developed by the people themselves, uh, 500 PX themselves, as opposed to the other app. Uh, and if you log in, then you will see some pictures that are not so friendly for the younger age ones, if you know what I mean. Oh, okay. Okay. I like Again, that. app can be opened up. Once you tap on it, it can enlarge it. And then uh, there's no way to save, unfortunately, but you can always do this. Print screen. Snap. Ta-da. And you can use it as so your the next paper. app is called Lemon. This is really good. It will make you rich. How can you be rich? Basically, by tracking expenses. Uh, it's a free app again, and you can register for a free account at lemon.com. Now, I won't be showing you the uh, iOS interface one because it's almost exactly the same. So when you hit on Lemon, it loads up. So a lot of people go through the trouble of keying the data. You don't have to. You scan the receipt, and immediately an OCR engine in their in their server will strip out the data. Like for instance, uh, this is something that I took recently at Cosmo. Uh, it shows you all right English high tea for two people, 120 ringgit service charge, 10 ringgit. Uh, then it got 10% discount on this subtotal sales tax. This was all stripped off from a receipt that I just took with the camera. And of course, right after all of that, you can go back. And you can hit. So, what's reports. the purpose of this app? Uh, just to show you your expenses. You know how much you're spending, so you can track your expenses and see. Okay. You know how you can, can you save. manually insert data? No, you can't. Okay. Uh, they rely 110% on OCR, which I think is quite good, lah. So you can see it's quite detailed. Uh, right now, I only got like one dot because I only got one receipt. But as you can see, slowly you can have more categories like mm. petrol and stuff. So like they'll, that. they'll produce a graph for you. So yes. again, we've switched places because we like the warmth of each person's chair. How do you like my seat? Nice warm. Can you stop drinking? Huh? Warm? Oh, yeah, yeah, warm, warm. Nice, okay. So, thank you so much for watching Technology. This is episode number 14. Uh, it's been so long, and thank you for oh, it's been, support. It's been 14 weeks. 14 wow. weeks? Wow. Uh, oh, yeah. Tweet us if you want to say anything. Mm -hmm. Ask us anything. Yep. Smashbox, Benjen, mm -hmm. Technology. Yes, that's right. Mm -hmm. And of course, uh, we will be, let's just give you a little uh, heads up. Mm -hmm. We will be hooking people up with lots of gifts very soon so imagine gadgets for free and stuff like that have yeah. I got like hair in my nose it Yoda. feels a bit strange okay yeah <sighs> so if you want free stuff free gadgets mm -hmm. and uh, what else can we give up for free free love yeah mm. watch us every week and uh, that's it thank you thank, thank you, you so bye much.